Ooh, that fish is in the drag big time. That's a big fish right there. Woo! <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> and that fish pulled off a bunch of line. That's on that orange fly. Two feet deep. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, yeah. Not huge, just a fighter. Not small either. <laughs> There we go. He's going on the stringer. Look at that fish. That's another nice fish. Man. That's a husky rainbow right there. Looks like a twin. A twin of the fish that's on the stringer. He wasn't getting away. Look at that guy. Long, lean. What a beautiful fish. Clean tail. Chrome bright. It's gonna have bright red meat. Um, just doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, this is just this is amazing. I knew the fishing was gonna be good, but uh, I didn't know how good. Uh, but uh, it's living up to all my expectations. That's for sure. Fishhuntshoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at fishhuntshoot.com. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Guys are surprised that I can compete with power boaters out here in my pedal driven kayak. I'll tell you why it's possible. It is the stealth factor. This kayak has a much smaller footprint than a power boat and it is much quieter. And guys that run power boats, they're starting to realize this. That's what the side planer craze is all about. They're finding that when the trout are in clear water, when they're up in the top 20 feet of the water column, if they top line right behind the boat, they catch less fish than when they start running their side planers and they get their lures out to the side and behind the boat. The power boat has a, you know, a big footprint. It makes a lot of noise. Now, the advantages of a power boat, you know, it's a, it's a comfortable platform form to fish from. You got a ton of range. You can run your electric downriggers, all that kind of stuff. So there's pluses and minuses. Um, I like the stealth and simplicity of a kayak, even though I have a big, beautiful Duckworth. The thing you have to remember if you're going to fish out of a power boat and the fish are shallow, like, like here at Davis, I'm fishing about nine feet of water. You have to remember that your boat is spooking fish in shallow water, so you have to make accommodations. You gotta run those side planers, or you gotta run your bait way behind the boat, and you will overcome any of the disadvantages. But that is the reason that I, I'm able to catch so many big fish out of the kayak, particularly in the late fall, winter, and spring. It's because I can get in these shallow water areas. I can work fish that are near the surface without spooking them. You know, my lines are only about, well, I think right now I got one 47 feet behind the kayak, and my lead core is probably about 80 feet behind the kayak. So I'm fishing in very close proximity to the kayak in very shallow water, but I'm not scaring the fish. So I hope that helps answer some of you guys' questions out there. Um, gave you a couple things to think about. Just be aware that if you're fishing from a big power boat and the fish are shallow, you have the potential of scaring those fish, but there are ways to overcome that. Get yourself some side planers. Start experimenting with them. You know, my buddy uh, Robert Hauer up at Shasta, he's a prime example. He fishes out of a big, comfortable patio boat, 
but he finds that in the winter time when the trout are up top if he's just top lining behind the boat he catches less fish than when he runs his side planers and he gets his you know gets his lures out to the side so get your lures outside of the boat's footprint get your get your lures out there in the area where the fish aren't being spooked by the noise by the vibration you know just just by the silhouette of the boat going over their head and you're going to hook more fish you're going to land more fish and you're going to have a lot more fun out on the water anyhow i'm kel kellogg i'm signing off if you haven't had a chance to subscribe please hit that button it won't cost you a thing and if you're looking for good quality trout gear at a good price check out the fish hunt shoot Productions store on the fish hunt shoot productions website um, everything on there i stand behind i use the gear out on the water it flat out performs and I offer, you know, good gear at a at a very fair price. Anyhow, thanks for all the support, guys. You have a wonderful day and I will catch you again right here on YouTube real soon.